Hi there, my name is Victoria from VG Invites and I have personally created some printable papers for you. You can use your printable papers for note paper, invitations, menu cards, whatever you can imagine. I've also created a step-by-step -step video tutorial showing you how to customize your printable papers using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a free online graphics editing program that is perfect for this project. As a special gift, I'm offering you 10% off of all my printable papers in my online shop. Visit www.vginvites.com to learn more and use the promo code seen here. Before we go any further, stop this video and go get your printable papers. Just click on the link below and once you have downloaded your free printable papers, come back and resume this video. Welcome back to editing your printable papers in PicMonkey. First you're going to want to go to PicMonkey.com and then click on Design. Now the printable papers that we have are 5x7, so click on 5x7 and it opens up your screen. Here are the different tools that PicaMonkey offers. We've got the text tool here, and that's the one that we're going to be primarily concerned with. Overlays, frames, textures, and you can go through and play with these on your own time. So first we're going to click on textures and select your own and open my textures. And in here I have the free downloadable template that you can get at vginvites.com and the colors may look a little funny on your computer monitor. They're not going to print this way. They're going to print out um, more CMYK colors. Um, your monitor reads colors in RGB and this is a CMYK file. So that's why the colors look a little bit funny. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the text tool and hit apply. And it takes a minute for all the fonts to load. And here are a selection of the different fonts that PicMonkey offers. You can see here there's a little crown and that just means that you have to upgrade so you have to pay for those fonts. Um, but PicMonkey Pic offers a large variety of fonts to choose from as you can see. Now for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to create a save the date postcard. Um, you can use your downloadable papers for whatever you want. Um, sky's the limit as far as your imagination goes. So you click on the typeface that you want, the font that you want, and click on Add Text. And right here it brings up a text box where it says Type Your Text Here. Click on that. And I'm going to type in Save the Date and select it all. And over here is another um, box that has um, dialogues in it and I'm going to click Center and just reposition this up here. And select all the type and right here you can change the size of the type. So I'm going to enlarge that just a little bit. And there you go. And I'm going to add text again. And this time I'm going to choose something a little bit different, um, kind of on the plain side, because I don't want it to be too busy as far as having too many different fonts. So I'm going to choose Times New Roman, a nice, um, clean, safe font. Type in Ashley Regali. 
and Christopher Smith. Again, select it all, center it. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller so we have a kind of a visual hierarchy going on here. Whoops, too small. You want to kind of move that into position. I think I want to make the ampersand just a little bit smaller. Add some more text. And underneath there, type in are getting married. Again, select it all. And choose Times New Roman. Center. Make it a bit smaller. And we are going to add the date. Um, we'll say 7, 17, 15. Center. And we'll use the playbill again. I kind of like that. Just you can nudge it over a little bit with your arrow keys. Although it takes a little bit longer that way, but kind of picky. Um, 7715 and for the final line we can type in formal invitation to follow. Select it all, center it, choose the typeface, make it a little bit smaller and you can even change color to whatever color suits you. you. Just pick the color picker over here and choose a color. And there you have it, your save the date postcard. This is how you add type using PicMonkey to your printable downloadable papers. I would love it if you liked this video, commented, or shared this with your best friend. The more responses I receive, the more I can offer you free great stuff. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and pin me on Pinterest. You can use them for note papers. The tree's moving behind me. This is the culprit. His name's Maxwell. He's my assistant. Maxwell!